so that you know a little bit about, about us, um, this is the Winnipeg Art Factory. We're in Winnipeg, Manitoba in Canada, in the center of Canada, in the very, very cold Canada. <laughs> it's gonna be here. And well, we are currently uh, locked down because of this COVID thing. Um, so this is what we're doing now. We're just going virtual to make sure we can still keep painting. This is my full-time job. So not being able to go out and teach my pain nights, uh, that really sucks. So at least in this way, we can stay creative and get to see each other, to connect to see people, that's so good. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me. So let's grab um, either the medium-sized brush or a bigger brush could also work. The first thing we're going to do is going to be the snow, okay? So I wanna show you here a little closer. See how I have the snow here, the heels, okay? And I'll show you how it looks behind. So behind, I also have another heel, a little taller, because when I paint uh, the behind heel a little taller, I will be able to see it from the front because my bottle is clear. Okay, so whatever I paint uh, in the back, I will also be able to see it, okay? So the heel that I have behind is a little taller than the one I, I have in the front. And I have some trees there in the back too. And lots of hills with um, the snow. So that will be the first step. So I'm going to grab some white paint. If you're using acrylic paint, um, it's not that it won't work, but probably the, the acrylic paint is just going to crack and it will probably fall off the bottle. That's why I told you to use an all-purpose um, paint. This is the one I, I'm using. Um, I just got it at Walmart. It's pretty cheap. I think it was like $2, the, the little bottle. Um, so this is supposed to, to work uh, on any, any surface. Um, I don't recommend washing it uh, on the dishwasher though, because it will probably come off, okay? But this is just uh, an ornament, it's for decoration, so you probably don't need to wash it, just maybe clean it with, with a cloth whenever it gets dusty. Okay, so let's get started with uh, the snow with those heels that we're going to have there in the bottle. So with white paint and a medium sized brush or a bigger brush could also work. You can decide how much snow you want to have. For me, it will be about, let's say one quarter of my bottle is going to be those hills, those white hills. And they can be uh, pretty tall or just very subtle. Okay, you can do the outline first to see where you're going. I'm going to start uh, going around my bottle and I'm going to do first the outline and here I'm going behind so I'm going to go a little higher up just because I want to make sure that I can see this heel when I turn my my bottle you can make the outline and whenever you have the outline you can just start filling in and you will see that uh, when you paint on, um, on glass, it's going to be a little different than painting on a canvas or on paper um, because it's going to look probably a little more streaky. You will be able to see um, all the strokes you make with your brush. And so if you don't want to see those strokes, what you can do is just use a lot of paint to make sure you cover everything very well. And the other thing you can do is just uh, give it just one layer very quickly and then give it a few minutes, let it dry for a bit. And once it's a little bit more dry, just add a second coat and the second coat is going to cover a lot better. Any questions, anyone? If you need to ask questions, you can just unmute yourselves or you can uh, write down in the chat whatever questions you have. I'll try to keep an eye on that. 
to make sure we're all following. Everyone's doing good? So far, so good? Yeah, awesome. Good job. I love it how in most houses, it's a whole family painting. I love that, guys. So we're going to go around the whole uh, bottle, covering all the heels with this white paint. So I'll give you guys some music and I'll give you a few minutes to catch up with this, okay? And if you feel you need um, higher heels or whatever you wanna change, you can still do that, okay? Don't feel that it has to be like mine. It doesn't have to be the same height. It doesn't have to be the same colors. You can change them as much as you want, okay? It's your painting and you can do whatever you want with it, okay? I'll give you a few minutes. Take your guitar, George. He knows all chords. Mind is strictly hitting me, doesn't wanna make it cry or sing. They said an old guitar is all he can afford. When he gets up on the lights to play his sing. in mind if he doesn't make the scene he's got a daytime job he's doing all right he can play the honky tonk like anything saving it up friday night with the sultans with this old turns of swing And the crowd young boys They're fooling around with the car now Drunk and dress in their best bra bags in their platform suits Don't give it down, a ball and a trumpet, play a band. It ain't what they call rock and roll. And the Sultans, yeah, the Sultans play Creole.
give you guys one more minute uh, to make sure you're all done uh, with the heel, okay? Sweet dreams are made of these. Who am I to disagree? I travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Some I didn't want to use you. Some I didn't wanna get used by you. Some I didn't wanna abuse you. Some I didn't want to be abused. if you want me to play anything uh, in particular, okay? okay. Um, so guys, next step is going to be the snowflakes um, all around the bottle. So let me see, can you see there? So it's going to be just a few dots uh, everywhere. Just the idea uh, with the snowflakes is to put them in random places. Try not to put them like perfectly arranged uh, in a pattern. Because if they look too perfect, it won't look natural, okay? So with the smaller brush that you have, we're going to grab some paint and just put um, just more small circles. It doesn't matter the size really. Uh, they could be a lot bigger. This is art. So if you wanna make it a lot bigger, or even if you wanna have some that are just a circle and maybe some others that are little bit more you know like like a real snowflake or maybe something a little more simple like this you could do that or yeah you can combine both okay um the good thing about painting on bottles also is that you can wipe down whatever you don't like okay so if you're not sure if you want the snow there you can just put it and if you don't like it you can wipe it out and clean it and it will just go back to whatever you had before or the other option is just let it dry and once it's dry you can scratch it out okay so don't be scared um you can make mistakes Nobody will know they were there. You can just change things as much as you want. Don't be scared. Um, so if you wanna try something different and you're not sure, just go for it. And then if you don't like it, you can just clean it and start again, okay? So a chance to get a little more creative maybe. Get out of your comfort zone. I know, I know. I'm a perfectionist too, so I know that. And I'm going to put these snowflakes all around my bottle, okay? In the front and the back, and even on the neck of the bottle, if you want, you could also add a few there, okay? So this will give us, um, it will give the, the paint um, on the snow some time to dry so that we can start working on the trees, the house, the bear, and all those things. Um, so we'll give it some time while we do this. If you have a hair dryer, 
You could also use it for uh, drying everything a little faster if you have one. Um, the paint dries pretty quickly, really, uh, so you don't really need it. Um, but if you have one handy, why not use it, okay? So I'll give you a few minutes to work uh, on the snow. Whenever you feel you have enough, you can just stop. And let me know if you have any questions. I'll just give you some music and have fun, you guys. Keep your head up, moving on. Hold your head up, moving on. Keep your head up, moving on. Hold your head up, moving on. Sweet dreams are made out of these. Who am I to disagree? I travel the world in the seven seas. Everybody's looking for something. Yes, excellent. Yep. So 
So the next step is going to be the trees. Okay, so I wanted to show you here a little closer how my trees look. So they have an idea. Let me see, I don't want the glare to not let you see. There. So I want to show you how to do these trees and you can make as many as you want in your bottle. Um, something I suggest is that they all look different. That's very important to make it look a little more natural, okay? So all different sizes, all in different places. They don't need to be above the hills. They could be on the hills even lower than that uh, because that is all um, ground. So they can be really uh, wherever they're on your white you want, okay? So some of them will start a little higher up and some of them will be a little lower and taller. Some will be short, okay? Try to make them all look different. And the ones that are behind, I mean, in the back of the bottle, it's better if those are a little bigger so that you can see them, okay? Remember, as uh, the bottle is transparent, you will be able to see a little bit through. Even if it's a colored bottle, you will still see through it. Um, so just make the ones in the back a little bigger. And another suggestion is to start with the ones in the back so you can take them sort of like as practice, okay? So uh, you can practice with the ones that are going to be in the back. Nobody's going to see them that much. And then once you've perfected your technique, you can start working on the ones that are going to be in the front and everybody's going to pay attention to those. Sounds good? Okay, so another important thing about the trees. So here I want, I want you to just take a look at my tree here. So see how my tree is very thin at the top, just like a little triangle in the top. And then as they go down, it gets bigger and bigger. Of course, there are lots of different kinds of trees, okay? So you can change this if you want, but just to pay attention to that detail. So we'll start very pointy and small in the top. And then as we go down, uh, all the branches are going to get bigger and bigger. Like as if we made one triangle on top of the other, uh, but as I go down, they're going to get wider, okay? Um, what else? Another important thing um, is that the end of the branch has to be a little thinner than the beginning of the branch, okay? When the branch is closer to the trunk, it's going to be a little wider, and as I go towards the end, it's going to be a lot thinner. All right, hello there. <laughs> Somebody say hi. <laughs> hey, hi, welcome. Okay, so I wanna show you how I did this and then you can have as many trees as you want. Just make sure that you know where your little house is going to be if you wanna have a house. Um, because I don't wanna have any trees uh, in the area where I have the house so that it doesn't feel so, so full, okay? So just make sure you keep that in mind. I'm going to use my small brush for this. So I'm going to start in the back of my uh, bottle. Small brush and blue paint for me, but you can really use any color you want. If you have green, you can go for green or red, whatever you want. So let's start with the trunk of our, of our tree. So the track is going to determine where it's going to be and how big it's going to be. So for me, it will be pretty tall. I wanna make sure, can you see well there? Or maybe if you prefer, I can do this on paper so that you can see better. What do you think? Paper auto. Okay, we can see it. You can see it? Okay, good. Okay, so I have the trunk. It doesn't have to be right above the snow, it could be lower than that. So I could start a little lower. Once I have the trunk, I'm going to start with the top of my tree that is going to be a very small triangle. So just a small triangle in the top, make sure it's very pointy. 
kind of like an arrow, a very small arrow. And now as they go down, the shape is going to be pretty much the same, but a little uh, wider. Another thing, try not to do it so, so perfectly symmetric. Maybe on one side you can have one branch, one longer branch, and on the other side maybe a small branch. And my branches are going to be a little wider when they're closer to the track and very thin at the end of the branch. And as they go down, they're going to be a little wider and they don't need to be all the same. You could put one a little higher than the other on the other side. And then maybe here you can have just one very small branch because they have a little bit more room. And then right under this one, I will have one that is a little bigger. Instead of brushing the paint, what I'm doing is just kind of pressing, kind of dab the paint there. Because if I brush the paint, um, I just feel, um, because the glass doesn't grab the paint that well, I feel kind of like I'm taking it out. Um, but it really depends on the kind of paint that you're using. So I'm just sort of dabbing the paint. And I want to make sure I use a lot of paint so that it covers well. And as they go down, my branches are a little wider. And they're kind of pointing down. But if you wanted to make it look um, a little more whimsical, um, you can make them point up maybe with a, with a swirl or something like that. Those kind of trees look kind of fun, a little more abstract, but they're fun. So make sure that all the branches are different and they grow bigger as I go down. For the trees, you can put as many trees in your bottle as you want or as many as you can fit um, because it will depend on the size of your trees. Um, that will, I mean, how many trees you can fit there will depend on the size of your trees, okay? If you have more room, you can have more. If you don't have that much room, you can just have a few on that side. I don't want uh, my bottle to feel so crowded, so I don't really have too many trees. I think like, I have like five in total, and that's it. Really? My branches will go all the way down until the end of my trunk. And I got it. I have my first tree. Oh, good job. Very nice. I love it. And it looks like it has like a little star on top or something. Doesn't it? Was it in, on purpose or just came out that way? Very good job. I love it. Anyone else has uh, their trees ready? Yeah. Wow, good job, you guys. I must be a very good teacher. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> For you guys. <laughs> I give myself credit for things I shouldn't. Yes, you should. <laughs> good job, Margaret. Very nice. Okay, guys, so I want to give you a few minutes uh, to keep working on your trees and to really have as many as you want. I want to show you one more time in case you want to take a closer look to what I'm doing. So wherever you want to place your second tree, just make sure it's very different. So this one, the first one is pretty big for me. So my second tree is going to be a little smaller. So I just make the trunk first pretty much up to there for me. And again, I will just repeat all the steps again. So I start with a very small triangle in the top, very small triangle. I'm very pointy. And then as I go down, my triangles get 
a little bigger. I'm dotting the paint. I'm using lots of paint to make sure it covers well. Something you could do, um, once this is very, very dry, probably tomorrow or the day after, if you want, you could uh, varnish your, uh, your bottle and that's going to protect your paint a lot better, okay? Just a clear varnish and yeah, that, that should help. That's going to make it last a little longer, actually. If, it's better if you use the spray varnish so that you don't brush on uh, your painting. Because when you brush on uh, dry paint, that might um, take off some of it. So just be careful about that. So I'm going down and I'm making my branches wider as they go down. Anyone have any questions about your trees? No, you got it. You're doing a great job, you guys. So I'll give you some more mu music and I'll give you a few minutes to work on this. Let me know if you have any questions. Remember, we're going all the way around our bottles with these trees. And remember to leave some clear uh, for the house. Oh, good job. You're working on a canvas. Very nice. That looks awesome, good job. Um, so just remember to leave that, uh, that space for the house in case you wanna have the house. Of course, it's not mandatory. So if you're not a big fan of houses, you don't need to make it, okay? So I'll give you a few minutes, have fun.
So, how's everyone doing with those trees? Are you almost done? Do you still need a few more minutes? Oh, good job. Look at the white trees. That's awesome. Look great. Look at Margaret's. Very good. Nice. Margaret's. Beautiful work. Very nice. Very nice. Do you guys need a couple more minutes to uh, maybe paint a few more trees or do you think you're ready for the next step? How's everyone? Okay, let's do something. <laughs> Raise your hands if you need a couple more minutes. All right. <laughs> Anyone? No, you're yes. good? All right, perfect then. Let's move to the next step if you're ready. So next step is going to be the house. So I want to show you here a little closer. My house is really, really simple. So um, it's going to be just a triangle in the top. So we're going to start with the blue part now. And then once we have the blue, we're going to add the white on the roof. Okay, so we'll do the blue. And see the door and the window? What I did there, that's not really paint. I just scratched when it was dry. I just grabbed something sharp and actually um, I couldn't find anything better. So I just used an earring. I just wanted to show you. I used the, the tip of an earring and I just scratched uh, the door and the window. And in that way, because I don't really need to have paint there because I will have um, the lights inside the bottle. If you don't have lights, that's okay. Um, and also if you prefer to have, um, well, to, to paint the door, um, you could also do it. It's just that I didn't want to use more colors than just the blue and the white to keep it a little more simple. Um, but if you have black paint, you could just paint the door and the window black or maybe the window yellow so that it shows um, there's some light inside the house, okay? Um, so I'll show you how I did it. I'm going to use my smaller brush. Oops, I dropped my bottom there. Going to use my smaller brush and blue paint. She's going to... She's going to paint it. So I'm going to do it uh, in the space that I left with no trees. So I left this, this small area here with no trees for my little house. For me, this house is really small. Could be bigger also. It depends on how much room you have there. Could be smaller. Uh, you could also have no house. That's okay too. Whatever you prefer. So I'm going to start by painting the top part of this uh, triangle where the door is going to be. So just a little triangle on the top. This is a pretty basic uh, house. If you prefer to do something a little more complicated, you could also do it. I just feel it looks pretty, just simple. And the bottom part, it's just um, a square. So if you see it like this, it's a square with a triangle in the top. And then for the side of the house, it's going to be just another square or a rectangle on the side. I'm not doing the roof yet because the roof is going to be white. I'm glad I was wearing a paint. So this is a basic shape. And I'm just going to fill in with more blue. And for the window and the door, I'm going to wait because I need this to be dry in order to scratch out the paint. But if you want to do the door and the window black, uh, you could do it right away also. If you want to use a lighter color, you may want to wait for this to dry because whatever color you use on top of this, if the paint is still wet, it's just going to blend in together. So if you want to use yellow or I don't know, whatever other color you want to use, just let this dry and then you can do uh, the window and the door.
Everybody looks so concentrated. <laughs> Good job, guys. Do you think you're ready for the roof? Not quite. Another minute. Okay, sounds good. Okay, I'll give you some music. I'll give you a minute. There's no rush, really. Thank you. No problem. Couldn't be much more from the heart. Forever trusting who we are. And nothing else matters. As we live it our way All these words I don't just say Oh, when nothing else matters Trust I seek and I find in you Every day for us something new Open mind for a different to do the roof. If you're not ready, that's okay. I just see that everybody, almost everybody's looking up. So I guess you're done with uh, the blue part of the house. So I want to show you how to do the roof. Whenever you're ready, you can do it, okay? So for the roof, this is going to be very, very simple too. I'm going to grab white paint. Make sure you wash your brush first. And I'm going to do first an outline. So from the top, of um, the triangle that I have for the roof of my house. From there, I'm going to draw a line that goes towards the side. And then here you have two options. You can do um, another line that goes in the same angle as the triangle of the house, or you can go just down. Um, this is really just a matter of perspective. Um, so it's whatever you prefer. So here you can do this angle here on the side. And then you just need to fill in with paint. And I want to make sure that it cover here very well. So instead of brushing the paint, I'm going to dab it 
because if I brush the paint, I just kind of looks too streaky. And also when I dab the paint, it just gives me this texture that kind of looks like snow. And I will also add just a little line on the other side of um, this triangle I have here on the roof. So I'm just going to do kind of like an outline for that line here on the side. Okay. Just for the top of the roof. What's she doing? The top. Well, I just did a wide line here on the other side of the triangle. So I have like the triangle that we did uh, for the front part of the house. It kind of has like a little outline of snow. So it's just one little line here on the right side and then on the left side, I just have the whole roof with white. Good job. Oh, that's looking great, you guys. Very good. We're trying. <laughs> Excellent. So the other thing I will do to this house, um, other than uh, the door and the window, we're going to do that a lot later. Um, maybe you might even have to wait a little longer just to make sure it's very, very dry to scratch out the door and the window. Um, but the other thing I want to do here is the chimney. So for that, I'm going to use blue. Just I'm going to do like a little square in the top, something like this, small square. And I will also add some smoke coming out of this chimney. Good job, guys. For the smoke, I'm going to use white. So I want to show you how I did that. First thing I will do is just one line that is going to be very curvy. You know the way uh, the smoke goes up? It's like a very curvy line. So I'm going to do oops, one main line. And from this main line, I will have some other lines coming out too. So I'll show you. White paint. Watch me. And I do this curve that goes up. This is the first uh, line that I will do for the smoke. And then I'm going to add a couple other smaller lines around this one. So a smaller one there. And a smaller one here. And I could even have another one coming out from here and another one here. This will depend on how much room you have there. I feel I kind of want to get rid of this snowflake that I have here because I want to be able to see um, the smoke. So I'm just going to scratch out the snowflake that I had there. There we go so that the smoke uh, really pops up. Okay, almost done with our houses. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to catch up with this. And the next step is going to be a little bit of blue on the snow that we have on the hills, okay? And then we're going to work on the little bear. Or instead of a bear, if you prefer to have um, a different animal, like a fox or a bunny, I don't know, you could just make whatever you want there, okay? So I'll give you a couple of minutes. All these words I don't just say And nothing else matters Just I seek and I find in you Every day for us something new Open mind for a different view Oh, and nothing else matters I 
Hey guys, so I want to talk to you a little bit about the next step. Um, I'll show you here actually, so that you know what I'm talking about here. So the next step is going to be um, just a few, um, let's call them shadows on the snow, okay? These are going to add a little more texture to our painting and they're going to show where the little heels are. So what we're going to do is here, we're going to work with some blue and white paint. Of course, you don't need to add these if you don't want to, um, but I just found that I kind of needed a second layer of white because the white, because I, I brushed the white uh, on the snow, I feel it looks uh, kind of too, too streaky because of the brush strokes. Um, so I wanted to add a second layer of white, but I didn't want it to be just a flat white. So what I did is just with some blue, I kind of marked these heels a little bit. Okay, so see there, it doesn't have to be a lot. It's just going to add a little more texture to uh, the snow to the hills. Okay, so I'm going to go back to my bigger brush. I'll use the bigger brush now. And first of all, I'm going to grab white paint. So what I will do is kind of mark um, some of the heels again. You don't need to do this everywhere, just in a few spots, wherever you feel it looks kind of empty, you can add this second layer of white. So just kind of mark these heels again. And well, if you need to add a second layer of white everywhere, you can also do that. But I wanna show you how to add um, the blue there. So once you have the white, make sure it's still wet. And while it's still wet, grab just a little bit of blue with the same brush. You don't need to wash it because we're going to be blending the two colors here. So just a little bit of, of blue, not too much. And I'm going to add these little heels here and there. And you will see that as you brush this blue together with the white that you have, the two colors are going to blend together and it's going to look um, just, it's going to give it a, a little more texture to your heels. You don't need to add too much blue. It's just um, what, as much as you want, really. See here, I added a little more than what I have in my original. So I could add a lot, a lot less. If you add the blue and you're like, ah, I'm not sure, I prefer the white, what you can do is either wipe it down or just let it dry for a bit and then you can paint over with more white. In that way, you're going to just go back to the white that you had behind. And you can do this all the way around your bottle or just in the front. You could also add some little shadows for your trees with uh, some blue and white. I'm just adding a little heel in front of my trees. And I'm adding more paint uh, wherever I feel it's kind of empty. And if you feel you still need um, a third layer of white, uh, you can just let all this dry and then add a, a, sec, a, a third layer too if you need it. But also remember that if you do use the lights inside the bottle, um, it's kind of nice for the paint to be a little transparent so that you can see the lights. I'll give you a couple of minutes to add the blue. Remember, you can have as much uh, as, is, uh, as you want of this blue. Um, maybe just add a little first, see how it looks, and then if you really like it, you can just add more. It's usually it's better just to go easy with what you're doing, and then if you feel you need more, you can add more because it's harder to just go back to the white rather than add more of the blue, okay? So I'll give you a minute. Let me know if you have any questions or if you need me to explain anything again.
But remember that you do you, so there's not a right or wrong way of adding this blue there. Um, and if you needed to blend in more with the white, you can just add more white on the blue that you already have there, okay? I have a question. Yes. Can you uh, tell us what kind of paint that you've used? Because I'm using acrylic, yes. obviously it's, yours is turning out a little bit better than mine and it's, um, this is the one that I'm using. Can you see the multi surface? Uh, surface, yes. Um, I just got it at Walmart. Uh, it's supposed to work on any any surface. Okay. Yes, and I know that if you go to an art store, uh, you will be able to find some paint that is specifically for glass. I just wanted to go um, a little more simple to make sure that everybody had the materials. Okay used um, a glass paint it's going to work better it's going to last a lot longer but if you just add the clear varnish even if you're using acrylic you know why you should even try with, with clear varnish because sometimes it depends on the kind of paint that you have the brand uh, you know the quality but sometimes it will stay there okay I, one time i tried with um one acrylic that it wasn't the best and it just kind of cracked um, but yeah, you should give it a try. And then if it doesn't work, you can just, uh, you know how to do it now. Okay. So you can yep. just redo it with a, a different kind of paint. Now, what kind, what size of, um, brushes, you said medium, but uh, there, I understand that there's numbers. Yeah. Uh, let me see if this one has a number. Actually, I'm not sure. Okay. I think it's like a six. I want to say, but I'm not sure. Okay. Let me see if I have a newer one. Maybe it has a number. I can tell you. I'll double check that and I'll give you a minute to work on this. Make sense for you either a 14 or a 16 it's around that size uh, it doesn't really stay here in in my brush usually the brushes they do have like the number on them yeah but it should be around there 14 or 16 14 or 16 okay Thank one, you. i think it, it's like a two yes the little one is a two just like two little ones a two yes Okay. Yes. Yeah. Okay. It's your playlist. Thank you. Good. Oh, you in my playlist? I'll share it with you. I'll copy and paste here so that you can listen to it later. I love this playlist because it's like all uh, classic songs, but like uh, they give them a twist to them. It's pretty neat. I love it. I find it very relaxing, but at the same time, nice. Not too relaxed. Like it. Glad you like it. Yeah. Nice and easy. You can sing along to Next it. Next step. Are you ready for those little bears? Oh yeah. Yes? Okay. So I want to show you how to do the bear and maybe I can show you how to make a bunny if you prefer to make the bunny. So for my bear I used blue. And the reason why I use blue is just because I needed some contrast. 
but if you have a different color, maybe you have a uh, brown and you want to go for brown, um, you can do that or really whatever color you're using, it will work. So for my bear, um, it's close to the house, but not too, too close, okay? So I want it to be in the front so that everybody can see it. If you want to kind of test how it turns out and you want to do it in the back just to be safe, and then if you like it, you can just do it in the front, uh, you can do that. I just, uh, I always find that the second time I do things, they turn out better, uh, but that's, your choice really. So I want to show you how to do that. So wherever you want to place it, a uh, little brush, blue paint. So for the body, what I'm going to do is sort of um, like, um, like a drop, like a drop of water sort of, but on the side. So I'll try to break it down. If you prefer to just copy it, uh, that's okay. I'm just trying to break it down so that it's easier to follow step by step, okay? So that is for the body. I'm going to fill in with paint. And then for the head, I'm just going to kind of continue this drop, but I'm going to make the head a little wider because here it looks kind of very thin. So I'm going to kind of shape it a little bit. And I'm not going to give it a very defined shape really. It's going to be, it's a very small bear, so I don't need to give it too much detail. So you can add uh, the ear there if you want, just a little dot for the ear. And when you make the legs, it's going to give it uh, a lot more this uh, bear shape. So for the legs, I'm going to do a little triangle down here. This will be one. And then the second leg is going to be here. And then you can give it a little foot which will be just a little uh, line or dot. <laughs> and then for the back legs, it will be the same. Just a little triangle. This will turn out a little fatter. <laughs> and another triangle. And then the foot is going to be just a little line. And then for the tail, it's going to be just a little dot in the back. If you need to keep working on the shape a little more, you can do it just make it uh, just the, the tip, like his face, it's just going to be kind of like a little triangle. It doesn't have a lot of shape for me. I just want to keep it very, very simple. Mine looks like a groundhog. Like a what? A groundhog. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> well, it could also be that, like, <laughs> it talks about differently, that's okay too. I want to show you how to make a little bunny. Bunnies are a little easier to make. Um, I'll show you in case you want to change things a little. For the bunny, all you need to do is just a circle for the head and a couple more circles for the body. And maybe the legs are going to be just a little line on the sides and then the ears, and that's it. For the ears, it's just two little lines, well, two little <laughs> triangles on the top. Like a little pig. <laughs> like a little pig. <laughs> Any kind of animal you come out with, it works. Don't worry, you guys. Remember we said we're not going to judge our bottles. Okay, 
So the two little ears there, and that's it. So that's too far back. Let me see. Honey. Or you can have also a whole bunch of different um, animals there too. And of course, if you make it and you're like, ah, you know what? It just looks better with no animals there. You can just let it dry. And then once it's dry, you can cover it up with the white. Nobody will know that was there. So if you're like, okay, should I add this animal or not? You can do it. And then if you're not happy with it, just uh, cover it up, okay? Okay. Well, I'll keep this close to the camera so that you can see the details. And I'll give you time. And maybe if you want to have a whole family there, like a whole family of bears or bunnies or I don't know, foxes, whatever animal, you can, uh, you can make it. Or maybe little birds. Or you can make Santa. Birds. Maybe Santa coming out with, with the presents and everything. That's a cool idea. I'll give you guys some time. Let me know if you have any questions. I could do it, do it. Oh no, I said too much. I thought that I heard you laughing I thought that I heard you sing I think I thought I saw you try That was just a dream, just a dream Every whisper Every waking hour, I'm choosing my confession, trying to keep up with you, like a lost blind fool, fool, oh no, I've said too much, I said it all, consider this. Consider this of the century. Consider this slip brought me to my knees. Oh, what if all these fantasies come wailing around? And now I said, I said it enough. I thought that I heard. That I heard you say I think I thought I saw you try That was just a dream Just a dream Just a dream Just a dream. That was just a dream. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spot. Like I'm losing my religion. Trying to keep up with you. But I don't know if I can do it. Do it. Oh no, I said too much. Just 
Okay, guys, I'm dying to see oh. your paintings. Can looks like I made the bear. It's a bear. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at that. That's amazing, guys. Good job. Very nice. You went for gray. I love it. Very nice bunny. Cool. Very nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. You have a red barn. Very nice. Nice. That's beautiful, Margaret. Very nice. Thank you for showing me. I would love to take a picture of everybody's. I know that some of you are still working. Oh, nice. You have the bunny and the bear. Nice. Very cool. They turned out pretty well. Not bad. For you know, first the bear is kind of tricky because the shape, um, it's a little more tricky. Uh, but as long as everybody understands it's a bear, that's fine. <laughs> Good job. Very nice, you guys. Does anybody have um, the light stream for the bottle? Could yes. you see it? Yes. yes. Awesome. Cool. So if you have that, all we have to do is just put it in. Oh, and also if you want to sign uh, your bottle with your small brush and whatever color contrasts, blue or whatever you have there, you can sign your, your bottle. This is the, um, uh, the light string that I have. I got this through Amazon. Um, if, let me see if I can find the link. I'll share it with you. I also have them for sale, but well, only if you're in Winnipeg, because I don't think it's worth it to ship it anywhere else. The shipping is going to cost a lot more than the stream light. I'll share with you the link. If you're in Winnipeg, you can buy it from me if you want, or I'm sure you can get it at the dollar store or through Amazon. Yeah. In Ontario, you can get them at the dollar store, I think. Oh, yeah. Where you got your uh, they're sold out at this time of the year just because there's so many people uh, buying them. But I'm sure that through Amazon you can still get them. The only thing through Amazon is that um, I think you can only get like the big packages. So they will sell you like 20 lights. Um, so you, you might not want to buy so many. So these are my lights. They have the cork, so it kind of looks like uh, like a cork, but on the other side, it has the on and off button. So you just need to uh, untangle this. <laughs> well, at least I need to untangle, untangle this. And then you just need to put it inside the bottle. And well, it depends on the kind of lights you have. These are pretty easy to move around and to arrange into the bottle so they look nice. Oh, mine is very tangled. So I'll, I'll just show you here. It might take me a while to untangle. So you just need to put them in and you will see they look so nice when you turn on the lights. And if you try with, let me see if I turn off this light, if you can see better how it looks. I'm not sure if you can see. There. It changes so much. They look really pretty. Like if you want to put them uh, as a centerpiece for Christmas, well, even now, right? All winter. Once until Christmas, but we can still use them. It doesn't have to be only for Christmas, right? Okay. Right on. Perfect. So, can I see everybody's uh, paintings? I, I would love to take a screenshot with everybody's pieces. I'll send you guys a screenshot so that you can see. <laughs> and we have them all there. So, just for a minute, if you still have to work on the details, uh, you will still have time for that. I just want to take a quick screenshot and 
I want to see everybody. That's so cool, you guys. I hope you're happy with your bottles. They look amazing. I love it. I really love it. Okay, are you ready? Three, two, one, smile. Beautiful, thank you. I want to save this screenshot before I lose it. <laughs> Everybody looks pretty. Excellent. Well, thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Do you have a good time? Yes, yes very much. Thank you. Beautiful. You're very welcome. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, little one, for joining me. And well, I hope to see you soon at any other event. We have lots of different um, pay nights and some other things. You can check out our website. Um, so we're doing everything virtually right now because in Winnipeg, we're uh, locked down for now. Hopefully this finishes soon. And well, let me know if you have any questions or any comments, you can email me and we'll stay in touch. Thank you so much, guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Stay safe. Stay safe. You, stay too. Safe. you Thank too. You too. Thank you so much. much. Have a great night. Thank you guys. Thank you. Excellent. You're very welcome.